All right, this morning, the Harris campaign reportedly worried about winning those blue wall states as the vice president stumbles to even remember one of them. My plans will strengthen America's economy. His plans will weaken America's economy. Then why do you think that's not landing with voters? Because oh, in the numbers, it it's the opposite. Former President Trump leads you on this issue. Well, when I'm out, this is why I'm going out to Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and, and, um, and, and Michigan, and Michigan yeah. excuse me. Right. you got to remember Michigan. Uh, Trump surrogate, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum joins us now. Governor, she feared the blue walls beginning to crack is one of the headlines. Do you see that, feel that when you were out there and when you're out there for uh, former President Trump? Well, a absolutely. The, the enthusiasm is super high in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and uh, the crowds are large uh, and, and people are really coming out for President Trump. Doesn't matter whether it's uh, college kids before a Michigan State game uh, or whether it's uh, retirees or energy workers in uh, Pennsylvania, auto workers uh, in Wisconsin. And Kam Kamala may not, she may not uh, remember Michigan, but uh, people in Michigan are going to remember her EV mandates that are, you know, killing uh, auto jobs in that state. Right. Even though she says, I'll go along with the law and she wants to bring manufacturing back, it doesn't seem uh, to be resonating. Real quick, before we move on to Iran, in terms of American production, oil and gas, she's for fracking. Then they said, I'm not going to look for any more fossil fuel exploration. Then she walked it back and says, I do. These are all through surrogates. What should people read into? And you as a governor, when they come back and say, well, oil and gas did pick up under me, meaning the, uh, Trump, the Biden Harris, what do you say to that? Well, th that statement is uh, is it is completely misleading because they've done everything to attack uh, U.S. energy during the Harris uh, time in office. And so uh, any numbers that the U.S. is producing right now is in spite of Harris, uh, not because of because of her. And when you take a look at the. Uh, uh, what what's going on in the world? I mean, they've been attacking U.S. energy and and that's and then allowing our adversaries, Russia, Iran, uh, others, Venezuela, uh, to produce record amounts of energy overseas. And so they're they're not only hurting the American economy, hurting American workers, uh, they're actually helping fund. Uh, wars abroad. I mean, they're helping fund Iran's terrorism and they're helping fund uh, Russia's war against Ukraine. Yeah. And by the way, that led to the NBC News headline, Democrats brace for a possible crack in the blue wall as signs of North Carolina is slipping. That came out on, on Tuesday. Now, Governor Bergham, you said, and there's a headline, you said that the Iran is funding terrorism around the world thanks to us looking the other way when it comes to enforcing the sanctions. They're selling their oil and gas to China and we're doing nothing, but how are we paying the price for that? Well, first of all, just the scale of what Iran is doing and what the Biden-Harris uh, is allowing here. I mean, not only the, you know, the $16 billion of direct sanction relief that's given them more cash, uh, you know, President Trump uh, had Iran financially uh, you know, on their knees uh, relative to the sanctions actually working. Uh, and under Biden-Harris, they've quadrupled the amount of, of annual oil production, as you say, going to China. China's increasing their strategic petroleum reserve, getting ready for World War III. Uh, right. Harris and Biden drained our petroleum reserve in half ahead of the midterms. With your knowledge of the energy industry, if uh, Israel is going to hit Iran, we know that. If they do decide to take out their oil and gas production, what would that do to the price of oil and gas in the world? Well, there might be a, a spike at some point in time, but right now uh, there's a lot of capacity, potential increase uh, for uh, other players to step in and fill that gap. Uh, when price goes up, people increase their supply. But, you know, you, you could take care of all of that if you were actually supporting uh, the U.S. shale industry, because between uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Alaska, North Dakota, and Pennsylvania, we could take all that slack up in the United States. So, But I know that they're afraid of doing anything that might raise the price at the pump ahead of the midterms, and that's why they keep allowing our adversaries. That's why they're, you know, that's why they're allowing record amounts of Venezuelan oil into our country. Uh, uh, they're doing anything they can to manipulate the price, and they're doing that. That's harming American consumers, and it's and it's helping our adversaries. Right, and it helps brutal dictators like the Venezuelan leader. Uh, Governor Bergham, thanks so much. Great. Thank you, Brian. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.